Caitlin, do you want to stand on your platform, or are you just going to stare at your shoes? Is this not my platform? You're on blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, these are all bad. Why? Alright, uh, five minutes or ten minutes? Uh, ten. ten like I feel eight. like I need ten for mine. Yes. So everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Who put a lantern in my name? <laughs> One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seven minutes in, and I already have no idea. Oi! Cello! What? Do you know your Minecraft password? No. Uh, we're recording. Oh, oops. <laughs> Wrong room. Typically, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This is the second time we're going to feature you in a build battle despite you not participating. Hi, YouTube. I don't come on that much, but I hope you're all doing well. Okay. Solid. Alright. There's my cameo. Uh. <laughs> Caitlin, Caitlin gets a bonus five points this turn. What the heck? That's not how yes! this works. Woo! I'm glad we have ten minutes because I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not good. Let's see. Because like, the thing about this book also is this like, I there are things I could do, but they would spoil the ending of the series. Is it an old book series? It is not really. Okay, so you are worried about spoiling it then. Yeah. And it's like a really cool story, so, you know, I don't want to spoil anything. What the heck is going on over there? Yeah, I needed a hole! <laughs> it's too long. Oh dear. Yeah, this is gonna make oh, sense. Hi, okay. I think we should start with Here's Caitlyn's. my child. I like this. Oh. I'm gonna go with Percy Jackson. It's actually yeah. Heroes of Olympus, but that is a subsidiary of Percy Jackson, and uh, I thought right, to make right. it, to make it so, like, these are the heroes, I don't know, <laughs> and uh, the original one is the Lightning Thief, so here's my ninja stealing lightning. Oh, <laughs> <I like them. laughs> well, let's Good look at Ellen's. <laughs> and okay. moving on. Uh. There's supposed to be a child here and structures on fire and a corpse in the in the Is fire. Is How to Train Your Dragon a book series? It's not that one. Okay. That was a good mm -hmm. guess at least. Where's it's the child? The fire. Technically the child is supposed to be under a corpse. Oh. Okay. But <laughs> that would be hard. Am and the child. Corpse. Gotcha. Okay. Now what? <laughs> I have no and idea. Then am <laughs> yeah, what is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of you have heard of this. No, I don't but it's think a great so. series. It's Dragon Weather, Dragon Society, Dragon Venom. And it's cool. yeah, it's a series. This is supposed to be the initial scene where a village gets burned down by a dragon and guy little kid, uh, his grandpa gets killed and his corpse lays on top of him and some of the dragon venom mixes with his grandpa's blood and falls in his mouth and it's gross. Uh, I no. wish I hadn't heard that. <laughs> it's All a right. seriously cool book series. It sounds like Dragon. it. Could could I have everyone Dragon start on this? this side of the I bushes? I know this. I know this. This side? Yeah, I know this. Here. It's Narnia. Yeah. Oh. You, yeah. You, wardrobe. You wardrobe. To Hogwarts. To the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> the crossover that nobody wanted, but we're here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Confession time, I've never read those books. Narnia, you really should. They're great. I watched the movies, though. Okay. Well, mine is super it's... vague as well, but this is like uh, the first introduction Ooh. of these tunnels, which are called flumes in the book. Oh, 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 Pendragon. Pendragon. oh, oh my god, yeah, really? Pendragon. Oh, I had no Dude, I love it. these books. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time. It goes from the subway on what Earth. What was his into... uncle's name? I can't remember. Uh, I don't remember either. I yeah. want to say Rick, but it, I know that's wrong. First... His first name was also really lame. Yeah, it was just Bobby. The main character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Pendragon. Yeah, Sorry, Bobbies. You... <laughs> oh, dude, I don't I know why I looked Bobby. up to the heavens. Like, sorry, Bobby. <laughs> sorry, Bobby. <laughs> I am uh, the almighty Bobby. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, the first introduction of Flumes from the subway into so that flumes. first like uh, medieval world that he goes oh. to. As soon as you said Flumes, I knew what you were talking about. 
Yeah, wow. I oh, thought no one fantastic. else had read that book. Of course. Oh, hell yeah. yeah I yeah, love yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't thought of those. No one years. has read my book. No. <laughs> and I have read no one else's book. Oh, Ellen, I wanted you to tell the story about what you thought blood was. There was a weird thing about blood, that's all I oh, remember. Caitlin has this no. uncanny ability to remember really random stories that people tell her. Was it blood or was it the thing where I didn't know that muscles existed? And so, I was scared, I, I was scared that there was a lot of empty space in my body, and so I thought that a snake <laughs> would um, burrow into yeah. my skin and oh. then just live in the empty space between my organs. And uh, Now I'm not going to be able to think like, of anything else. That is horrifying. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, constricts so... me? I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, I think I have decided to do the least terrible, like, the, I'm, I've picked the option of thing that scares me that will make you the least sad. Oh. So. Oh, I know what to do. My dad's gonna Thank like this video. You. I'm doing this for you, Dad. <laughs> Joke's I, on I you. can His literally hear. Watch. <laughs> Actually, my dad did talk to me the other day. He was like, "Yeah, I, I'm subscribed. I watch your stuff. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I, I am <laughs> so <sub>. I'm here." <laughs> but son, I'm proud. Uh, oh no, I wouldn't go that Are far. Are you winning, son? <laughs> Oh, it's literally man. That. Weird childhood. I'm mad that I remembered this. I can still hear him laughing at me. I guarantee you, when he watches this, he'll already know what it is. So, so you know, my other scary options were drowning, which happened. That's not a weird childhood fear. That's perfectly reasonable. You should be scared of drowning. Well, yeah, but the thing that would make you sad is that it didn't happen. Wait, it did happen? I, Who are you then? <laughs> <laughs> when I was like four or five, I, um, no, no, before that, when I was three, my grandparents' house had like this pond that was a decoration, but it was also a well, and I fell into it. Shoot. And nobody was around, and I um, touched something that scared me, and I freaked out and screamed and lost all my air and blacked out and oh damn, um, woke up on the couch. So I've decided not to betray that. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> I'd feel really bad trying to guess it. I'd make some <laughs> dumb joke and be like, "Yeah, no, that actually happened," and then I'd feel awful. Uh, and then the other one um, was some was a uh, vampire monkey bat, which is something that I hallucinated wildly as a child. What the heck is a monkey bat? It's just a monkey with vampire teeth and bat wings. It sounds silly. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous until you realize that I hallucinated it every night for like six years. Oh, yeah, that's a bit. That's a bit <laughs> less like fun. Just like the cat. Yeah, like the cat. See, except again, the cat Caitlin just remembers the, the weirdest things about your life. I don't know. The cat was pretty damn dangerous. The cat was a hallucination that bit me. So, like... Oh. What, what are these hallucinations you're having? What was going on? I don't know, I man. Just, look, man, I don't know what to tell you except that I just tend to hallucinate. Okay. Maybe stop eating mm. random mushrooms on the hiking trail. <laughs> Man, I wish that was it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shoot. Well, um, Yoder is breaking a bone. Yeah, I'll bet the fear I itself really is not all like that weird. That. Yeah, the, the reasoning behind it is odd. Okay. okay As someone who has broken a bone, I gotta say, it's not fun. What, what, what was, what oh, was yeah. your story? I uh, witnessed some kind of medical show where they bid like a kill cam style breaking of the bone where they like x-ray vision and the bone breaks and then you see oh. the person scream it's like oh that was not good i did not like that i, I would never like that to happen please thank you <laughs> yeah no, it's not fun <laughs> <laughs> gotta say been there done that don't recommend it yeah. what is this caitlin i don't know it's a nice uh, bone look. okay 
Um, it so looks like a. What is kind that of a car, car is this? It's oh, yeah. You thought cars were gonna eat you. Yeah, oh. I thought that yeah. cars came alive when there weren't people around, and people oh. didn't steal children. Uh, the cars, cars did. ate children. Gotta say, the new Among Us oh. game is looking pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> This is like an Indiana Jones trap. Why is there a bee in a box? Also, why is he's it not moving? He's very important. I don't know why he's not moving. You, if you slap him, he'll you, move. You have... <laughs> if you slap bro, him, he'll bro. move. You have a bro, depressed bee in a box. <laughs> I just want to point that out real quick. I relate. Quick. I'll break this. He can, he can, he can be free. There you go. Okay. Why is the bee important? It's very important. Okay. All right, so this is an activity I love to now. Oh, this is rock climbing. Here as a kid. Yeah! Okay. So when I was a kid, we went rock climbing as a family. And when I was like halfway up, I was like six or seven. I was halfway up. There was a hole in the rock where a beehive was. Ooh. And a bee came out and like made a noise at me. <laughs> I, as a kid, I thought it hissed at was, me. Was it bus? And it, <laughs> Probably. I don't remember all that well. But so, it scared me so much, I wouldn't even come down. There was another rock climber up there that had to, like, come over, cr crawl over to me and help me get down. And I didn't rock climb again for, like, eight years. Dang. Wow. Okay. okay. And mine is definitely going to require some explanation. We're afraid um. of... <laughs> Give me your best shot. I guarantee you it won't be right. Of blood, your mom bleeding ah! into oh. a. <laughs> oh. No, my my mom my mom bleeding into a Tupperware is a completely unrelated I story. I like the TARDIS. Yeah. Thank I you. Like it's lovely. Oh. I had fun making that. Was it a what? Okay. Does that have to do with anything? Oh, it's absolutely related, actually. So. Back in the day, when I was watching old Doctor Who's on VHS with my dad, I just dated myself quite a bit there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a classic Doctor Who episode where there are these um, Stonehenge type rocks that whenever you touch them, they start glowing and they suck all of your blood out through your hand and kill you and leave you looking like a raisin. So that they were called the Stones oh. of Blood. And they looked terrible like they're these paper mache rocks i'm gonna have to throw up pictures on screen if i can get away with it um they're literally just paper mache rocks and someone just kind of shuffles around inside them while flashing a light on and off oh i was horrified <laughs> of these things